joined by our science correspondent, Thomas Moore, who's been very excited about this all morning. Uh, Thomas, incredible pictures. What does this mean for the future of travel into space? Yeah, I mean, this was box office stuff. It really was. To have that kind of uh, imagery coming back down from space live, uh, seeing people who... Uh, he, Jared Isaacman has only been to space before just the once, and the rest of them are complete novices. Then to open up the... The, the hatch to the vacuum of space and step outside takes extraordinary bravery. They would have, they've undergone two and a half years of training and they've been trying to mimic uh, the, the effect of microgravity on a complex system of mm. ropes and pulleys sus suspended in midair down on Earth uh, and going through the procedure of, of getting outside to stand on what they call the Skywalker, that almost looked like a, a ladder you would see at a swimming pool, and they stood <laughs> at the top. Uh, the, the top half of their bodies uh, poking out um, into the void of space as they went through a series of checks to confirm the mobility of this new spacesuit that SpaceX has been developing. It's a mm -hmm. much more slim-fitting design than you would ever see on uh, the astronauts in the International Space Station. And, and there is a huge point here in that Elon Musk wants to send people to the Moon and Mars. Mm -hmm. These would be privately funded missions. So he wants to have all the kit uh, developed by SpaceX themselves. Now, clearly, he has the spacecraft. He's developing the Starship, which will be there for long-duration space voyages to, to, to Mars, but he wants the spacesuit too, and that's what this mission was was primarily designed to do, to test this spacesuit, that mm -hmm. it could give them that mobility so they could perform tasks in space unrestricted, but at the same time uh, protect them from what is a really harsh environment. Absolutely. And I'm told that SpaceX are now saying that the repressurisation is now complete, so that's the capsule closed and they'll start... What's next? They start to make their way back to so Earth? So they won't we'll be coming back until the weekend. But this okay. is it's a significant moment that they were able to safely seal them back off mm. uh, from the vacuum of space. There was a little bit of concern about the door. They had to do it manually, uh, not ah. with the, the, the mechanism originally designed. And also we saw Sarah Gillis, the SpaceX employee uh, on board, the second person out, a woman, which is significant, that she too is testing this suit, mm -hmm. uh, suitable for women too to go to, to deep space, uh, but that, that uh, she was pointing at the seal, pointing out some bulges uh, that had uh, been visible as they opened up the door. So Amazing. They some little bit of work. little things as they're going through it. This was the first. And you said two and a half years. Are they officially astronauts? I was wondering about that, because that's the title given to people through the NASA programme. Is that so they are yeah, officially right. astronauts? So the, these are non-professional astronauts, right. yeah. So the only people who've done a spacewalk before have been people from government-funded space agencies, NASA, Roscosmos, Russian, mm -hmm. uh, and the European Space Agency and Japan too. So it is significant that, that private companies can do this too. We've seen them becoming ever more ambitious, sending private spacecraft to the moon, private astronauts now doing spacecraft, uh, spacewalks. So this really is a big chapter that has been started for the future of, of human space exploration. So it is indeed. Really good stuff. Thomas Moore for now, thanks so much.